What is up everybody? My name is Kian, the Stoic Speaks, and today, after a three month hiatus, I'm going to be talking about two years on NoFap. Now cue this intro, I miss hearing it. That's my trip and it's not for free. That's my trip and it's not for free. Then if I stay on my back, then I make him leave. Whole team so so on deck when we step in clean. Alright lads, first off, I'd like to say thanks to my friend who met through the channel, Hamza Garrity. He messaged me on Instagram and kind of inspired me to make a video. He said yesterday on the 17th of July, uh, he watched a video from nearly a year ago it was just oh no sorry yeah it was this video was from 17th of july yesterday so it's one day from 364 days ago right and in that video i spoke about one year on nofap and how i felt and what it did for me and i watched that video today and boy has my experience gotten even better so let me just talk about it this year i haven't masturbated once I think so actually. I might have made a relapse video in January or something, but since then, nothing. Now, my life has changed drastically, I'm sure, as it has for the rest of you guys also. So the whole COVID thing pulled the carpet out for me multiple times. I had plans to move to Canada. Um, man, I did. I started a new job and I was only using that for to save can't move to Canada now I got fired from that new job I got a new job again which is an even better one I'm actually creative I'm making YouTube videos like this it's a streaming service absolutely fantastic I love the company love the culture love the people I'm on my break right now as I make this video Um, boy guys let me where do I begin all right let me talk about where everyone wants to talk about the female attraction two years into NoFap it's great you, like I said in, uh, a year ago, when you do NoFap, you retain your semen and you don't waste it. You can get any girl you want. Now, providing, you know, you meet her minimum attraction and all that. Say, like, you work on yourself physically, mentally, you can be really attracted to everybody. Seriously. If you work on yourself, you have goals and you know what you want. Which NoFap does for you because you delay your gratification, your serotonin gratification. You're like, sorry, your dopamine gratification system. When you do, uh, deprive yourself of this, you will get after what you want. You will make your goals achievable. Now, things can get in the way, like bloody, like a pandemic or something like that. I wanted to have a thousand subscribers by now. I said that in my last video. I'm on 800 and something, which is great because I haven't uploaded in three months and I gained maybe 200 subscribers. Uh, thank you for it, by the way, guys. So, I don't know. Let me just talk. Let me think. Let me wrap my head around my thoughts. Human attraction is great. This year I got into a relationship. I'm hitting the five month mark in two days time with my girlfriend. Actually, it's tomorrow. Five months with her. I'm enjoying life. <laughs> life is good. Um, I'm not particularly, do I'm not doing semen retention. It's much easier when you're single than when you're in a relationship, but I am doing no fap. Um, I'm now, I'm not doing semen retention, but I'm not ejaculating every single day. Um, if you study the works of Mantak Chia, he says a man should ejaculate like when he's between 18 and 30, no more than uh, once every three days. So, you know, maybe stick to these principles. The law of attraction. When I want something, when I'm not masturbating, I will get something. Like I said, when you don't give yourself the whole um, dopamine quick fix, your mind will focus in on what it is you want and you will get it. My prime example would be the job I wanted now. I wanted the job, I knew I was going to get it and I did absolutely everything in the way. I got rejected actually, the first attempt. Then I lost my job, I went back to and I was like, look, I'm a free agent, I want this job. I absolutely obsessed over the position I had for two months. Um, and I got it. But the thing is, I could have done that with absolutely anything and you can too. I've been doing steam, steam retention and NoFap for, two, I say two years, but it's been longer. But I was struggling the first, it's been three years, but the first year I was struggling really badly. Like, you know, three day streak, four day streak, five day streak, and never getting above 10. But now that I've mastered just not watching porn, 
not masturbating. I noticed everything in my life seems to come together well. Now, there are always hurdles. Life is never uh, smooth sailing. You're always going to have hurdles that you need to overcome. Like an actual hurdle runner, uh, like the sport, the athlete, they're always going to fall over hurdles no matter how good they get. But the, mat the point is you need to get the back the fuck up and finish that race. Another quote from Nipsey Hussle, life is a marathon, not a race actually. We all know that. But now, we got the female attraction. That's good. It's cool. You have the law of attraction. I think when you're... I know now, when I've, because I've been doing NoFap for so long, when you don't masturbate, your life just improves astronomically. Comparing how I have been the past two years when I started this YouTube channel to how I was before, I was an absolute coomer, a waste man, a simp. Any bad connotation you can put on somebody, I had all of them. And now life is completely different. I fucking love life, lads. I still have hardships all the time. Before, when I was masturbating every day, I was a really sad person. I was negative. I was pessimistic. Right now, I don't feel pessimism ever. And I know what it is. The only thing I fixed is that I wasn't fucking my brain up with pornography and masturbation. Don't do it anymore. Lads, I know I haven't uploaded in three months. But every day when I, well not every day, whenever I get an urge to masturbate, I think. I didn't make that YouTube channel and post for a whole year uh, for nothing. I always think of it. I always think about the comments you guys leave me saying, oh my God, your videos make me want to do this, that. I got the girl of my dreams because I was watching your videos and I didn't masturbate and stuff. Lads, I'm so fucking proud of you. I want to make you proud of me. I want to continue helping people. I don't want to drop off the face of the earth and not make YouTube videos, so I'm back. Now, I'm not going to be posting all the time. The reason why I stopped is because I ran out of ideas. And because, well, because I got into a relationship after not being in one for a long time, I got caught up in the whole, you know, the love, endorphins, oxytocin and stuff. Um, that would be also, spending a lot of time with my girlfriend would be one of the reasons why I wasn't making videos. But that's a lame excuse. This is, I love this, I'm passionate about making videos. I'm passionate about helping you guys. So I'm back. Anyway, lads, give me some requests for more down below. I don't know what else to talk about. I'll find stuff to talk about. Um, but until then, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe, lads. This has been Keen, Stoic Speaks, I'm out.